If you're rocking the Galaxy Z Flip 6, you're probably already aware that it has a pretty cool cover display, but did you know that you can run apps on it? The thing is, enabling this feature isn't super obvious, and many users might not know about it. To get started, you'll need to go to Settings Advanced Features Labs, and from there, activate apps allowed on cover screen. Then you can select from a limited list of apps that can run on that outer display. Now here's where it gets even better. Samsung has made it possible to expand this functionality using Good Lock and Multistar, but the catch is that this option isn't clearly advertised, many users are unaware of it, and it's not something that's directly mentioned in the Galaxy Z Flip 6's settings. However, with the latest Android 15-based One UI 7.0 beta, Samsung has made things much clearer. According to a report from 9to5 Google, the One UI 7.0 beta for the Galaxy Z Flip 6 includes a helpful message under Settings, Advanced Features Labs, saying, Download and install Multistar to allow more apps on the cover screen. Plus, there's now a Get Multistar button that makes it super easy to install the app. While this is a step in the right direction, it would be even better if Samsung just baked full cover display app support directly into One UI without the need for third-party apps like Multistar. It would be great to see this become a default feature, especially in future devices like the Galaxy Z Flip 7, where users could run apps on the cover screen without any extra steps or tweaks. What do you think? Do you use the cover screen apps on your Z Flip 6? Let me know in the comments below. If you've been waiting for the next big software update from Samsung, the wait is finally over. After weeks of anticipation, Samsung has officially launched the One UI 7.0 beta program for the Galaxy S23 series, and it's now rolling out in India and South Korea, with more countries likely to follow soon. So what's new? One UI 7.0 is based on Android 15 and brings some exciting improvements. If you own a Galaxy S23, S23 Plus, or S23 Ultra, you can now test out the beta update. In India, it comes with firmware version S91XBXXU8ZUIC3, while in South Korea, it's S91XNKSU6ZUIC3. The update is pretty big, around 4.7 gigabytes, and also includes the March 2025 security patch. How to install the One UI 7.0 beta on your Galaxy S23. If you're in India or South Korea and want to try out the beta, here's how you can install it. First, make sure you have the Samsung Members app installed. If you don't, grab it from the Play Store. Open the app and sign in with your Samsung account that's linked to your Galaxy S23. Look for the One UI 7.0 beta program banner at the top and tap Join Now. Agree to the terms and enroll in the beta program. Then go to Settings Greater Than Software Update Greater Than Download and install to get the update. Once the update is installed, your phone will restart and you'll be running the latest beta version. Important things to keep in mind. Since this is a beta update, it might come with some bugs and performance issues. If you encounter any problems, be sure to report them through the Samsung Members app to help improve the final release. That's all for now. Are you excited to try One UI 7.0? Let me know in the comments.